great game on the menu tonight, folks. The small forward position is going to be one to watch. We've got a great matchup tonight. Number 23 makes a strong case for being one of the better shooters in the entire country. On the other side, we've got a kid that loves to shoot the trifecta, baby. It'll be an interesting battle tonight. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action, see what's in store for us. The Hoosiers are in for what should be an easy one tonight, Dick, but how do they stay interested enough to win this game? Interested or not, Brad, they still have to do the following things. First of all, the point guard has to be the coach on the floor, making sure his team executes on every possession. Second, don't let their big man become a factor offensively. Keep him off the block, push him away from the low box, and force him to shoot jump shots. And finally, get your man on your hip after the shot. Block out and get after those boards. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Working it around the perimeter. The small forward receives the pass. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Perfectly executed. They'll work it around the arc. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Trying to feed the low block. Tries for two. Number three receives the ball. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Number 22, pump fakes for the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. They go into the low block. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with the deck. Where's he going? Gave it up. The shooting guard handles the pass. That's good. <laughs> Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. He throws it up from downtown. Number three is fired up and ready to go. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. That's worth another look. at the three. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Call this a one-man show, Brad. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. He makes a nice shot fake. Here's a double team. I love this guy, Hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Goes up for two. That was nice. Down inside. On the dribble, gives it up. He up fakes. There was no doubt about that one. Let the replay show us the real deal. He keeps his dribble as they reset. There's a bad pass right to the defender. They work the perimeter. Now trying to feed the low block. Looking for the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. 
Double team now, bad angle. Number 22 takes it away. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. And now with a power move on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball. Seals the defense off and explodes to the basket. Looking for a good shot. Oh, right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. From the top of the key, off the rim and no good. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up to get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. There's the trap. Puts it up. Indiana are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Gave it up. Up fake. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. And now they'll bring it up. Number 41 handles the feed for two. Great play to take that to the basket. was loose but the defense got possession he puts in another score he can see the light Brad and it's hanging right over the goal fakes the shot tries for two he is just lighting it up to he's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots Brad They come with a double team to stop it. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground there. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Now they work it around the perimeter. Boy. Terrible execution on offense. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows them to get the crease, the lane, the angle. While pressuring, he goes for the steal. You gotta be careful when you go for an aggressive steal like that, Brian. If you miss, you could be in trouble. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Goes up for two. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been a night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you have know, a great post play. you got a chance really to win. 
He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Trying to draw the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Dump it inside. He shoots from the top of the key. It's good. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of bounds. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad, in regards to our player matchup, it's a matter of one guy focusing and taking advantage of shot opportunities. He seems to be making the most of it tonight. Thanks, Aaron. Stolen ball. Jumps in. Basket falls despite the contact. He may be in trouble here, Brad. Fakes a jumper. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Ten seconds on the clock. Off the rim and no good. Gave it up. Pump fakes. The Big Ten. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And he throws it right away. Great steal. From the top of the circle. Way off target. Outside jumper. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. They're rocking right now. My goodness. For two, perfectly executed. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Look at that spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. He takes a three. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. Defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. With plays like that, you need instant replay. <laughs> Tries for two. Doesn't go. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charge. Goes up for two. And off the mark. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Number 41 has called for the defensive foul. First personal foul. Look at him now, just enjoying the moment. I love the zest of the young man. Dancing with the cheerleaders, that's awesome, Brad. He'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity.
Second shot is no good. Gave it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. They go inside and now back up. He makes the block. The ball goes out of play. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. They're definitely having some fun out there. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. It sticks. around the perimeter he shoots from long range makes it entry pass in the paint jump hook from the low post he gets another one to go this is a shooting clinic my friend the skip pass is picked off And the ball goes out of play. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats it to the spot. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Leans in. Easy one. <laughs> Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Here they go into transition. Looking for contact. Perfectly executed. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Looking for a good shot. Unloads a three. He nails the bucket. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Great play to take that to the basket. one with the steal. Nice hops. The Hoosiers are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. On the inside, there's a double team waiting there. Jumps into the defender, and he scores despite the hack. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. It's crazy in here, Brad. He wants a three. Off the rim and no good. Puts it up, looking for contact. Trying to draw some contact. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? They'll work it around the arc. He lets it go. He nails the shot. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. 
shoots. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Dump it inside. And run him right into the screen again. What did I say? Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Picks off the lazy pass. The dribble gives it up. They work it around the perimeter. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Drains it. He intercepts it. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. The kick out. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. Gave it up. Now they work it around the perimeter. Two, perfectly executed. Here's a double team. Tries to get the D to bite. Looks at a three. Off the rim and no good. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. There's the trap. He lets it go. Way off target. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. He puts it in with contact and all. Shot clock is dead. Takes away the pass. Pushes it up. Length of the floor. Number 22 is called for the foul. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. He puts it up at the horn. He misses from long range. At the end of the first half, the Hoosiers trail by five. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look. Indiana allowed the ball to be taken away a lot in that first half, partner. Not so much taken away, but given away. If you can't take care of the rock, you're not going to win many games. Dick, two great players now heading into the second half. We watched them through the first half, and they played it pretty dead even. We'll see what happens here in the second half. Well, they're really doing a great job. Both guys getting good shots, really making them count, and really their teammates are getting them the ball at the right time. Looking for the foul. Oh, yes. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Defense! 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 
Picks off the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. The Hoosiers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Daddy's on fire. The defender is still applying great blow pressure, Brad. He hits it. Working it around the perimeter. High post screen, gonna use it? Perfectly executed. He's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. For two. For two. He fires from long range. Off the rim and no good. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. He shoots from the top of the circle. He buries the shot. Picked out of the air. There's the pick. There's the roll. Over plays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. From right in the circle, way off target. Moving it around the perimeter. He tries the three, goes in. on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball, seals the defense off, and explodes to the basket. For the bucket. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. At some point, his team is going to have to step up and play at his level. He's carrying them right now. In the paint and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He gets the shot to fall. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Double team now. Matt Angle. Gave it up, looking for a good shot. Jumped in front to take it away. The kick out. Gotta take some pride on the defensive end. He's got some room. Ten on the shot clock. For three, he gets that one to fall. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He tries the three ball. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. They work 
work it around the perimeter. Intercepted. Puts it on the floor and up and under. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not going to down with ease, Brad. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Number four comes up with it. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. And he'll kick it back outside. Number five is charged with the foul. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. There's the fake. A high screen. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. The ball goes out of bounds. Here's a nice face-up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Got the high pick. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He goes to the line for the first time. Hits the first shot. the second. For two, he gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show's about to start, Brad. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Easy one. The student body is rocking tonight. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. 
on the outside and work it into a double team on the post. Takes the shot off the rim and no good. Pass down low. There's a drop step and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Trying to draw the foul. He gets it to go. Picks off the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Ooh, look at a shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. And the ball goes out of bounds. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, the player matchup has been our focus tonight, and he's been effective because his teammates are finding him in the right spot, and he's knocking down all his shots, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. That's one of the things I absolutely love about cop knocked out of there, blocked. The circle they work it around the perimeter. There's the screen up on top. Tell me to save the play of the night, Brad. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Way out on top, controlling the ball from right of the circle. He gets it to fall. Steals a pass. There they come with a double team to stop it. Gave it up. Time to pick up the defense here now. Up and inside. He tries to knock down the three. Sinks the shot. One on the shot clock. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. He shoots from outside. You betcha. Dumps it in for the bucket. He gets the shot to fall. Picks off the lazy pass. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. 
unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Tries for two. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. There's a double team waiting there. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. For the deuce. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Takes away the pass. Nice high post screen. For two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Intercepted. They work the perimeter. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Tries for two. He couldn't get it to fall. Gave it up. For the bucket, sweet looking shot. He is super, he really is. Steals the ball. Fast break possibility coming. Foul charge. And he's gonna pick up the foul and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Goes to the free throw line. Defense! Gets his first. Gets the second shot. High post screen. So effective, that screen. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. The power forward gets the pass. Here's a double team. The ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. That was a definite blow to one team's composure. Let's see how or if this will affect the team. The center gets the ball. There's the trap. He comes away with it. Shoots. Gets it to fall. You can see on the replay how this one goes down. Sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He shoots from the top of the key. Got it. <laughs> Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. For the bucket. The Hoosiers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep getting him the ball. It's simple. They'll work it around the arc. Now they work it around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of play. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. And that's 
spacing. It's stolen. Defense got it after knocking it loose. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Drains the shot. Dick, six-point lead here. They have to keep applying the pressure if they want to win this one, Brad. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. Nobody stepped out to take away his driving angle. Trying to funnel him to the sideline, take him to a trap. Tries for two. The Owls have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. Daddy's on fire. Timeout, they want to talk it over right here. And with that timeout, we go to the third member of our broadcast team, Aaron. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. Thanks, Aaron. It'll be interesting to see the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. Six points is the difference. Wow, do they need a basket badly, Brad? Momentum will decide it. Picked out of the air. Moving it around the perimeter. The small forward with the ball. On the outside, the point guard takes the feed. The ball goes out of bounds. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Double team now, bad angle. And a momentary look from three-point land. A basket here will make this a two-possession game. Sweet-looking shot. He is sweet, he really is. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. The power forward takes the pass. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Maybe some game plan changes, Dick? You never know what's coming, Brad. That makes it a four-point lead. These kids are here to fight, Brad. Shoots. The more possessions you create, the better your chances. Well, Dick, it looks like they're going to spend a little bit of time fouling right here. It looks like they're going to slow the game down by fouling, Brad. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession air timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. There's a double team waiting there. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. Sometimes a stat that gets lost, Dick, turnovers, and that can kill you in a ball game. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team's performance. If you give teams easy baskets, you got no shot to win. And the clock stopped with a foul. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. Makes the front end of the one and one. Hits the second shot. Working it around the perimeter. The Hoosiers have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. 
He shoots from outside. He gets it to fall. to the live action we go. He shoots at the buzzer. They're going to duke it out in overtime. We're going to see who's got the legs, baby. This is the home stretch. Regulation couldn't solve anything. These teams are headed into overtime. I knew this was going to be a barn burner. Jump hook from the low post. They still don't score. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The center receives the ball. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. A defensive stop will definitely get the fans out of their seats. They work it around the perimeter. The center handles the feed. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense not allowing them to make that turn. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few on your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul call, Dick. I think a good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. The center handles the pass. He intercepts it. The small forward receives the pass. He misses it. For the deuce, the lay -in. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. As it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose the air. And you get balled like I am. He shoots from right of the circle. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere for two. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Brad, he's not getting any help out there. It's basically one against five. Not good odds. He shoots from long range. It's good. Goes up for two. Out. He shoots from left of the circle. Off the rim and no good. 
They'll work it around the arc. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. They get that rejected. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. For that reason, right there, that's why I love college basketball. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more, Mr. Nestler. We are so lucky that we get to go to all these schools and experience the mayhem firsthand. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He hits a bullseye again. Hey, he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. We got a timeout on the floor, and with that, let's go courtside to Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. Thanks, Aaron. We'll see who's got more coming out of this timeout as play resumes. I knew this was going to be a dandy, baby. The lead is down to three. And give it to him down low, going the other way. He gives him the fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Number four steals the ball. For the bucket, easy one. The clock stopped with a foul. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. And yet another foul. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. He misses it. They haven't been able to put it in from the line all night. Hey, this is how you win ball games, guys. We might see a little different look this time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. Go back in front by two. They work the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. T.O. called. Hey, we got a board burner here, baby. I'm thinking last second shot for the win, Mr. Nessler. ready to start again. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Rims out. They're going to give us another period, Dick. Hey, one more may not even be enough, Brad. These teams want this game bad. Neither team is given an inch as they enter the second overtime in a dead heat. No time like double overtime, baby. This is where the magic happens. The pressure's getting to him, Brad. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Tries for two. Let's take a look at that last hoop. <laughs> the 
looking for a good shot. He shoots from downtown. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. I'm sorry, Brad, but this young fella seems to be their only hope at the moment. For the deuce. Off the rim and no good. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Jumped in front to take it away. That was a high post screen. Goes to the lane. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure into basketball. There's a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. They're working around the perimeter. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Ten on the shot clock. They work it back to the outside. Shoots from the outside. He buries it. Picks off the pass. Cross court. He gets that one to fall. You don't get any points for the replay, but it still looks great. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Good. Moving it around the perimeter. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Steals the pass. For two. Great shot. The lead is down to a bucket. Hey, this place is about to explode. It's dynamite, baby. Great defense. Timeout's called. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. And I think she's right about that, Richie. Let's get back to the action. Two-point game. Gave it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. The Hoosiers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Looks like we're ready to step back out onto the court. He looks for three. Tickles the twine. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. Up, easy one. And the fans are going wild. The man is off the charts, Brad. 
picks off the lazy pass. I get a feeling they've changed things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. That shot makes it a one-point contest. Hey, it's anybody's game, baby. Puts it on the floor and up and under. He can't miss. And he's up man's feeling it, Brad. be a change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. Shot clock is dead. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Perfectly executed. Let's look at it again. Takes away the pass. And yet another foul. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. That bucket cuts the lead to one. I told you there was a lot of time, Brad. Picked off. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Dick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. Both free throws go. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. We're about ready to hit the floor. Dick, we're taking a look back now. We've watched this marquee matchup throughout the ballgame. How do you think it played out? Well, I think it played out fairly well, but it's all within the realm of the team. The one thing I like about the Stars, they're playing as a unit with their teammates. Indiana fails to come up victorious in this overtime matchup. This is going to be hard to swallow since they were the favorites coming into this game. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.